Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Chi Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Tuesday to all my YouTube family and all my new friends. Today I'm going to be doing a facial mask review for you. Um, I've just finished washing my face. Um, I do have a couple blemishes here and there, but I did pick up some masks last week at the Dollar Tree and the one I'm going to try for you today is the aloe vera mask. It's the one that's made by Stella Fiesta. This is the packaging that it comes in. I'll read you the back of the package. Something I noticed that I never noticed before, but I'm not real um, up on face masks. This is something new for me. This one does have an expiration date of August of 2019. So you have plenty of time, but I didn't realize that masks would have expiration dates. So on the back of this package, it states directions. Start with a freshly cleaned face. I've already washed my face. Apply toner, which is optional. I don't use toner because I have very sensitive skin and I break out a lot. Um, so number three, it says apply the mask to your face accordingly. Smooth the mask in place and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. That's a long one. Use the extra essence left in the pouch on your neck and other desired areas. Uh, remove the mask and gently... I'm sorry, there's a little mark here. Remove the mask and gently smooth the part that remains the solution. So anything that's left over on the solution, you can rub down your neck or place in any other areas that you would like. Once you take the mask off, pat your skin. Do not rinse it off. It wants you to take whatever's left, just apply it into your skin, pat it in, don't rub it in. And then step six... <laughs> know who writes this crap step six admire yourself in the mirror with your renewed skin oh look at me I'm beautiful I mean really come on okay but that's just me so let's open this baby up here it feels really smushy so I'm just gonna try to get stuff to the bottom it does have two tear tabs right here to rip open let's see what we got It's very strong, I can say that. I can smell the aloe vera. It's really, really wet. Oh no, dear God, there's not gonna be any flaps. Oh no, 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 no flaps, no flaps. Oh God, <laughs> oh, this one didn't look like it had flaps. Oh, phew. okay, no flap. oh, well wait, there's something by the nose. I have no idea what that is. All right, there's a little piece here on the back. Is this just extra for your nose? Okay, I'm just gonna start putting it on. Let me take my glasses off. It's very strong. There's quite, it's pretty strong. I mean, it smells like aloe vera, but it's very strong. So let me just turn my head this way. Ooh, it's, oh my God. Should I go get Kalu? Or dog. Okay, let me just um, smooth this out here. It's very sticky. I can't believe I'm doing another one of these, you guys. I'm taking a hit for all of us women out there. Oh, okay, super, super smelly. But I don't, it's not a bad smell, but it is very strong. For me, it is. This one seems to be cut out a lot nicer than that black one I did. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get it on my skin as flat as possible. But obviously you're not going to because you're going to have areas here where it's just not going to fit everybody the same. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Once I get it on my face here, I'm then going to start timing it. I don't think this, there's really a lot. So I'm just going to bring it down my neck some. So like I said, I did mention I have a couple blemishes here. I don't know, I break out more than I'm older than I did when I was a teenager. It's crazy. So I do have to be careful with stuff I put on my face because I do break out very easily. Okay, so I feel like I've spread it around the best I can. I'm going to give it a moment here. It doesn't feel like 
If I was to lean forward, it would fall off. Where the black one felt that way, but the black one actually felt bigger than this one did. Um, hopefully, <laughs> it's very difficult to take myself seriously here by looking in the camera than it is, so hopefully you guys are taking me seriously um, at this given moment anyways. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let me get this stuff off my hands here real quick. So I'm gonna basically say, I'm gonna leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes and see how I feel. I don't feel anything right now except for the slimy part. I do feel the mask on my face, obviously. Um, I feel like up around here, cause that's where I started is, I'm not sure the word to use for it. I can feel around the edges here, like it's almost not drying or not pulling. It's just feeling a little different. So maybe it's just starting to, you know, adhere to the skin. There is a lot in this package. Even if I, let me just open the package here and see no, I'm not going to be able to. But there is, if I stick my hand in there, it's pretty slimy. So, what the hell, right? I'll just put it on my neck. I've already started timing. So, like I said, about 15, 20 minutes, I'll see how I feel. What I'll probably do is go sit down somewhere, try to stay away from Kalua so I don't scare her, like I said. Okay, so there's what it looks like applied. All the way around and just kind of damped where I rubbed it down my neck I'm just putting over the mask again because it feels like it is getting a little dry not a lot just a little but I can almost it just feels like it's sticking to the skin is what it is Woo! so that's basically where I'm at right now okay so let's talk all right, so I hope everyone had a good weekend. Yesterday I was gonna try to get on camera, but it was just, I had stuff going on. I've got doctor's appointments this week. I see this, the new surgeon on, is it Friday or Monday? Oh, I have so many appointments. But once I see the surgeon, find out what's going on with this surgery and get this going, it's been dragged on longer than it should have. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm dealing with a, a very, very bad hiatal hernia. Um, they think there's other, we're not sure what's going on until I have some more tests. Right now those things are up in the air. But, uh, so I have a lot of difficulty with um, eating and digesting food and, and just all kinds of stomach problems. So I have my really, really bad days and then I have my days that are just like everybody else. You know, we have good days, we have bad days. Uh, yesterday was a bad day for me and I didn't necessarily want to put that on camera for all of you. Um, but I, I want to keep it real at the same time. I am who I am. This is me. Uh, I'm nothing special. I'm, I'm just me. You know, I'm unique because I'm me just like you're unique because you're you. Um, when I do these videos, I, to do this in front of the world, I don't know, maybe I'm going through the change or something, honest to God, because there's no, anybody that knows me, you get me near a camera you're no way it doesn't happen there's hardly any pictures of me from growing up because anytime a camera came out man I was gone I mean I have photos but not as many as I would like to have and I still regret it now because now that I'm older and show my daughter and you know just stuff like that or you know when she decides to have kids my grandkids and things like that I don't have any of that kind of stuff so when I see so many others of you that have done these photo albums and, and stuff like that it's amazing what you've created for your children. I was very lucky to come across a book that my mom did for me. And it's a book telling me, and I had no idea some of this stuff. It asked her all kinds of questions about her childhood. It just all kinds of stuff. And I started reading this book and, and I start crying every time because my mom was born and raised in England. Uh, my mom was in World War II. She had bombs dropped on her house. She lost family members that had houses blown up right in front of her face. I can't even imagine living through something like that. And now that my mom and dad are gone and I read through this stuff, it is amazing some of the things I didn't even know about my mom or my dad. It's crazy. So my whole point with that is 
I'm here just being me, just being real. When someone asks me a question, I'm going to tell you what the answer is. If someone wants me to review a product, I'm going to review it and I'm going to tell you what I think because that's what you're asking me. You're asking me to tell you what I think. And if I think it sucks, I'm sorry, it sucks. If you don't want my opinion, then don't ask my opinion. Okay, so off that rant, oh, and on to something else. I hope you guys got a chance to see that little bit of footage that I filmed during a rainstorm that was, actually it was more than a rainstorm, it was a huge ass storm that was coming in through the Hudson Valley, rolling over, and I have to be just coming back from lunch, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna shoot this real quick. It was a spur of the moment thing, and it looks like several of you actually enjoyed it. And I want to share more things like that with all of you. But I'm just not sure what you guys are looking for or what you would like. I have beautiful areas here that I can show you. I have waterfalls. I have everything that you can imagine. I can take you to the ocean with me if you'd like to go. Do you want to go for a ride in my Camaro? I'll put the car in the Camaro. Of course, you're not going to hear me. You're going to hear a motor. And you're going to see a 4-inch cow sticking out of the hood. And a bunch of lights and gauges. But if you want to come along, by all means, come along. It's always an experience when I take the Camaro out because I still have um, all my Chicago stuff on there because that's where my heart is, home. And um, because I have residents back there, I have everything still done back there. So I still have my plates from Chicago. So when people see a car like that here and having out-of-state plates, they're like, what? Did you drive? I'm like, no, I didn't drive it here, obviously. But it is definitely a conversation piece, and it's a part of my life that racing, drag racing, being at drag strips my whole life since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. I am a gearhead through and through. It's in my blood. It will be in my blood for the rest of my life. Trust me. I hear a car coming. Man, I'm to the window or to the door right away. But that's just me. If you guys are interested in stuff like that, let me know down below. I'll share all of this with you. I just want to make it fun, have a good time, have a good laugh, and that's what it's all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for just a little while. I'm going to go sit down for a few minutes, have a couple sips of my iced coffee, and then I'll come back as soon as the rest of the time is up, and then we'll get back from there. Okay, everyone? Thanks so much. I'll be back in just a few. All right, everybody. So I went and sat down. I drank some of my iced coffee and I let it sit on my face. It's been about 28 minutes at this point in total. Um, it's still very moist. I do feel it like stuck to my skin. If I move my head around, it's not going to come off or anything like that. I don't feel any itching or burning. The smell has dissipated. However, I do think that, you know, I've probably just gotten used to the smell as well. So what I'm going to do it says to leave it on. So I'm going to leave it on for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mask. And then it says whatever excess. Yeah, it's just coming right off. I mean, I feel it pulling a little, but not really much. It says to leave the excess on and to pat it. I mean, I can see some redness on my face here, but I do have sensitive skin and that's just me. So my face is very wet as well as my neck i think you can probably see from the reflection here in the lights and in the mirror i'm just gonna put it on my skin keeping it away from my eyes i'm not rubbing it i'm just patting it for those of you that commented that i shouldn't pull on my skin i can pull up but don't pull down <laughs> okay so it's not sticky Because I think it's aloe vera, it's moisturizing because I'm rubbing it in uh, no differently than I would be doing like some hand sanitizer. The smell still, in my opinion, is strong. I think because I have a couple breakouts down here that I can feel a little, I don't want to say burn, burn's too strong. Um, I do feel like a little zing maybe, like if I had put peroxide or something on. But it feels like it is soaking into my skin because it feels tacky. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it on my face and then um, I will make some comments down below as I go throughout the day later when I post the video. If you have any questions, comments, or you just wanna make fun of me, by all means, please put them down below. Thank you everybody much for watching. Again, this was the review for these new masks. 
This was the aloe vera. And I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it so far. And unless my face falls off later, I don't know. We'll see. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching and all your continued support. Have a great afternoon, and I'll be back later. Bye.